So right now we are experimenting behind the scenes um, in our own business with it, trying to see if we can train the model, get it to say what we want. Here we have the legend himself, Sean Clark, founder of Go High Level. And part of the goodness I wanted to bring Sean back today, besides of his good looks and charms, is for you guys, I want you guys to be way ahead of the curve of what everybody else is finding out. And one of the things is, as many of you guys know, artificial intelligence has started to kind of gain on mass popularity. And Sean is way, 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 way ahead of the rest of us in this automation game. And starting to bridge those two worlds, which I call something called automation squared, which is when you're automating and then using artificial intelligence to help even automate the inputs. I don't even really have a structured talk today, except that I wanted to bring Sean in here just to talk about the cool stuff that they're up to that'll make your life easier, things that'll save you guys time, energy, misery, help you get results for clients faster and, and make a lot of your life easier. So firstly, Sean, welcome back. Hey man, thanks for having me back. Dude, I, I don't get tired of you, and I don't think our folks are <laughs> either. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> um, I would love to hear just a little from you guys on, on kind of what you see as the future coming up with artificial intelligence and go high level and where those two things meet in the middle and how you see yeah, some yeah, of Yeah, yeah, good call. Uh, so I think so. There's I think there's like the stuff that seems like it's kind of obviously going to help or work. And then there's the stuff that we'll see on, right? So like the, I think the easy stuff is is like the, the the sort of copy generation stuff, right? So, you know, boring stuff like social media posts or blog posts or emails and websites and all that. I mean, I think some of that stuff is pretty easy. Now that doesn't mean maybe that AI writes the whole thing for you, but it certainly is gonna help you kind of get, get started, get going, you know, that kind of thing, right? So we've got, um, actually, I think, I'm, I'm at worst, at worst, it's next week, but it might even be this week. We have um, GPT-3 powered AI coming into the platform. Um, and I'll share my screen here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. But basically, yeah, the idea here is uh, we want to basically make it so that contextually, and, and you know, this isn't, this is a great example, like for social media posting, where most of the platforms out there right now, you can you can do this in a million different places. You can, you know, but what we want to do is bring it in, make it contextual. So you're coming in here, you're going to create a new post, you pop up the content AI, it's going to say, all right, what do you want to post? You're going to give it some some really good inputs. Tell me how many variations you want, hit generate, and boom, you've got three posts to start with, right? And yeah. so this is kind of our vision of how we're going to bring this into the app. And we'll do this across the board with, you know, like I said, blogs, emails, you know, you name it, we'll have it. Uh, and then of course, you know, if you want to send us feedback and then bam, now you're out there and now you've got a great post, you can obviously change this and make it more unique and all that. But now for your clients, you, you can just rock out a lot more social media posts that are unique um, without having to do nearly as much work as you used to. And I think we can really scale this across the entire system. And so for me, this is kind of the, the first step for us is like putting this in the app. We're also, I'm, I'm actually mostly proud of the fact that it's also going to be a rebillable item for agencies. So obviously, um, you know, GPT-3 itself is not free. Um, and as an agency, you're providing a lot of value. And so giving this, these tools and making them very contextual for your clients will also give you the, the ability to, to actually uh, go out and rebuild them as well. So pretty excited about this. Another way for agencies, not only to save a lot of time, but also if they have clients using the tools, another, uh, particularly on the SaaS play, which we love, this is another great way for you to make money. So this is kind of version one of content AI for, for high level. That's amazing. I, I don't think most folks who are not putting out enough content may necessarily realize just how powerful what you just said really is. But, uh, you know, part of the reason we're both content producers is because it works. Nothing will build your expertise up faster than having content across all the platforms. And as you know, most of you folks is like the real challenge with doing it is Two things is coming up with ideas continuously that are going to be valuable to your people. And then the tedious nature of posting on all those platforms and you're showing folks how they can schedule and automate that in a couple of buttons and be able to build clients for that and do it at scale and, and actually have the delivery be really simple and easy for you to put out there. So I think that's pretty huge, brother. You get a, yeah, you get a high five. I'm with you. Totally. Well, and you know, again, as always, we get led by our customers. Um, our customers are already out doing this. So we just brought it into the app to make it simpler and easier for them. And then of course, I think the next um, evolution of this is is kind of the chat GPT world and bringing this more into real-time communication. Now, 
a quick note, there is not, at, at least as of last I checked, an actual developer API for it yet, but they're gonna, they're working on it. Um, the big thing is training the model and just making sure that, um, you know, ChatGPT, when you see it in the wild or like on the news or whatever, they're using really generic examples. But remember, as you bring this in for your clients, it's going to be about the training, right? So if you have a plumber, you know, you ask ChatGPT, what's it cost to replace the toilet? Plumber, you know, the ChatGPT has no idea. It's going to try to like give you some kind of rando, generic kind of thing. But where I think it goes and get, becomes incredibly powerful is when you tell it, you know, this is what we, you know, this is what you'd say on the phone, or this is what you'd say to somebody if you ask it. And bam, then I think it kicks butt and takes names. So that's really our next uh, evolution of this. And it's kind of actually where we're headed. So right now we are experimenting behind the scenes um, in our own business with it, trying to see if we can train the model, get it to say what we want, do really interesting stuff. Like we have a web chat widget on our front end website and the number of repetitive questions there are ginormous. So um, we're gonna try it there first. And then if it crushes, then we'll just take that and we'll roll that same concept out in the app. Because I think the more next logical place for this to go is that automated response in, and then we'll figure out where it makes sense. Does it make sense just in chat or would that, what could it go even better or broader? We've also seen examples of like um, suggested text. So like where chat GPT will suggest a reply and then the agent can choose and all of that. So we'll kind of, we'll play with that a little bit. But again, as usual, we'll let our customers be our guides. Customers do a phenomenal job of getting out ahead of us on these things and showing us like, this version works, that version does not, and we'll take the version that works and we'll put that into you know Q, Q2 or Q3. Hey guys, if you like this video, you'll also like my book on Amazon called Beyond the Agency Box, which, can, which you can also find by my name, Frankie Finn, and it's got a lot of awesome reviews. And it really just goes deeper on a lot of things we're talking about, everything you need to grow and start a lifestyle agency from the stages you'll go through to getting clients, to how to create winning offers, to high value deliverables, to wowing clients, to building teams, to building systems and building a boring factory. That's like a seven figure money machine for you. So if you're interested, I put links for you in the video description, as well as it'll be in the pinned top comment below and make sure to check those out.